Solana's just rallied 21%. Things are looking green. We've got plenty of news on everything in Solana and crypto in general. Specifically, really interested in ore mining. And I'm also trying to make 10K turn into 100K. And I'll teach you and I'll show you what I'm doing. Let's dive in. Bitcoin up 7%. ETH 8.7. BNB 10 and then Solana just 21.6, just bam. We're certainly not out of the weeds yet. I will be releasing some videos that show how, what my dollar cost average strategy is, my limit order strategy, just to keep a, a risk tolerance that's quite low, not to degen too hard. But one thing I do want to point out is there are some people in the market, not many, certainly a minority, but Kobe, who's like either a billionaire or multi-hundred millionaire, and also Ben Cohen, and they think we're actually in this 2019 period. So after 2018 bull market, there was this 2019 period where we pumped up a little bit and then we dumped down. They actually think this is that exact time. Now, I guess in some ways it could make sense, but I don't think it is. The reason why I think it could make sense, and people are going to disagree in the comments and that's fine, but I do believe that end of 2025, 26, somewhere around that time, we see like the actual proper markets go crazy, more so stocks and real estate, and things just drop off. So it would make more sense that crypto is timed with that. But then I see a lot of predictions essentially saying the bull market will end mid-2025. And I don't think that. However, just be prepared for this. Don't be too over leveraged in case we do kind of come down here. By all means, if you're going to trade, you're going to trade. You're trading on your strategy. But what I mean is if you're using Camino or Aave or any of these dApps and you've got some ETH or Sol in them, we've seen that ETH has not performed well at all. But if you do and you're taking out a loan, don't leverage up to the point where you can be liquidated. That's my major point. I don't think we're in 2019 vibes. Some people do, not many, but it is a possibility. And if so, it would just mean that would be more likely to hit this top at the same time as stocks and real estates, which in my opinion, that's the only thing that makes sense for the 2019 vibe. Anyway, let's dive into the news. So we're going to go through a little bit of Bitcoin stuff just quickly. So Mag says RSI is oversold again. It's entered the oversold, oversold zone for the fifth time in the cycle. Each time it dips below 30, it's been a good opportunity to accumulate Bitcoin. This, however, was at 50K and well, now we've already pumped up a decent amount. In general, though, like this is this is not fun. So one major point is I know it's like a broken record. But don't leverage here. I have used a little bit of leverage in the past. Did not end well. I can't remember the times it did end well. It didn't end well basically every single time. The only time I've used some decent leverage or a decent size was with leveraging Bonk. And that was just not worth it. Now, if it's like a 3x long on, on Jupe Perps with Camino or something like that, and you have a pretty strong thesis and conviction, well, that's up to you. That I will do, but nothing crazy. Dr. Prophet says all your all the bears will regret soon. I'm really not at this point of like regretting. Like, yes, I see we can't we go higher, but then I think we could go lower because I just don't think there's liquidity and interest in the markets. Now, in general, though, some people, are once again, comparing to the COVID crash, I don't, I don't think this is actually played out. The COVID crash, people knew about COVID initially, they knew about COVID and we thought everything's fine, everything's fine. Like who thought that we would literally not be allowed to travel? In Australia, we weren't allowed to leave the country for a couple of years. I won't talk about COVID, but that was a crazy time but people locked in their houses for years this was in this period we were still like in a covid time covid 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 and then reality set in and then at this point by the way if arthur hayes from bitmex if they didn't turn off the liquidation engines bitcoin and ethereum which were the only really major two things back then that had like proper value they would have gone all the way down to zero because yeah it was just nuts and then we recovered now nothing was turned off as far as i'm aware the traditional system was turned off and we dipped down very, very strong, but we we, did, we had support. We don't have enough bad news yet in order to say that this is a recession. This is like, okay, the country is going to be locked up. This, there's going to be a, potentially a war in the Middle East. It's not going to affect the majority of lives, but we're going to call it World War Three because that's sensationalism and that gets good views. Now, of course, I don't want a war to happen, but I'm just saying that these are not the same. But of course, it was a good time to load up as well. Now, Nachi is someone that I'm probably going to post more about because he is a top trader on Binance, like top three or something really, really decent. And as I mentioned last time, Hayes saved crypto and our dreams by shutting down market making. And we haven't thanked him enough. Literally, it would have gone to zero. And now we were offered a great opportunity at MaxSphere. The opportunity has now passed. This is not going to be a V-shaped bounce. So V like one down. It's not going to be like that. Essentially, this is his thesis. Back to 50, 53K, good value. Click the buy button. Goes below 50K, 
deep value, buy aggressively, and then if it goes around 43, we are screwed. That's when we could, maybe we're in the 2019 vibe and we're just gonna coax along. So we wanna make sure we can survive. If we are surviving this period, we're only having to survive it until next year. So it's damn, it's annoying, and we need to rethink some things, and there will be many projects that will not make it, but we're not actually going to be destroyed. Now Solana versus Ethereum, you can see the strength here is considerable. We are basically approaching the all-time high against Ethereum, which is insane. And in general, Solana is just outperforming. Yes, it had a strong move to the downside, so it does make sense that we kind of move up. The issue is there's a lot of coins out here. I understand people want ETH. There are a lot of coins out here that are just not worth the buy, like Polkadot, Matic. Matic has done really, really poorly. There are so many that are just not accumulating any value. And I would like them to because they're in my portfolio. But really, Sol and BTC, they seem to be the winners this cycle. There'll be more money put into the liquidity markets tomorrow with the treasury buybacks at $30 billion a month. This is okay, nothing crazy. 30 billion is not too crazy though. And what does this mean? Treasury buybacks improve liquidity in the bonds market that has been living on life support over the last few years as high inflation made bonds unappealing. Now it's important to note that DeFi and did fine with yesterday's crash. As an example, all of these platforms, they shut down. They shut down. They either, they couldn't handle it or they just didn't want things to go lower. We've seen this with Robinhood in the past where they just stop things from being allowed to be traded and that's their that's their protection in fairness it was done in 2020 with bitmex but that was a, a one-off many years ago DeFi and on-chain is so much better next bit of news i hope you went and claimed your active staking rewards allocations if you missed it by the time this video comes out you will not get any so it's gone and i really hope that you did actually get them if you are not doing so already make sure you go and follow this right here it's been upgraded pretty aggressively and we're reworking it and reworking it to make sure that it's bigger and bigger we've got different tags coming and all you need to do is just look at the day so claim your active staking rewards allocations bam claim your active staking rewards allocations you click on it you've got the link to where you need to go and the only people that have access to this in order to edit is myself and the team so the link should always be correct but we have the link to the main source as well so you can go and click on that as well so make sure this is bookmarked and if there's anything that needs to be added just tag me on twitter with what needs to be added so we can have this filled with stuff related to Solana. Now I'm a big fan of Camino, but Drift I also dig. Very nice UI, and right now they now have PYUSD and they've got incentives as well. If you deposit now, you're earning a really good APY and you're also eligible to win a Mad Lad. This ends in a week. There's over $9 million in PYUSD deposits and it's currently earning more than Camino. If you're building in DeFi, you can now apply for a grant from Drift. Drift up to 30K, so one Drift token is 25 cents. So seven and a half thousand dollars. Nothing crazy, but still worth it, of course. This is where you go and apply. I'm not sure exactly what we can do. It does say content though, so I'm gonna go put in for a check and see if I can get a, a budget so I can go and put all of the tutorials out on everything on Drift so people can be guided and use that more. Camino Finance also increased the PYUSD borrow caps. However, you have to be so fast. The only way you're actually gonna get in is if you have smart notifications turned on and then connected via Telegram. And if you haven't got that set up, then you will miss them. They go too fast, I missed out. Infinex, Patreon NFT, still put this onto your radar. It's worth doing. You have to go and do something with CoinVise. I haven't actually done it myself. I will do it today. You do this on the base network. So not on Solana, not on Ethereum, but base. Apparently there's something that auto defaults to Ethereum. So people think they have to go and spend $15 on gas. You don't have to do that. Remember, all you need to do is just go to Dbridge. You can go bridge across a small amount to a MetaMask wallet. $5 worth of ETH will be fine. You need 10 USDC as well. So go and bridge across 10 USDC or a little bit more and then go and get into this. There aren't going to be a crazy number of people that actually do this. Maybe only a couple thousand. So the odds are still fairly decent. They're better than the lottery. Now remember, you need to jump in to bonk bets and place a bet. 1 million bonk, like $20, in order to try and create your lucky dragon tail or your lucky dragon. I think this will be necessary. This is not available in all locations. I'm not saying you should do this. I am saying that a VPN can help. You can get around that if you say VPN to the UK, not legal advice. This is your daily reminder to stake soul. I static stake with Veldata.com, have for over a year now, earning 7%, APY on my soul, automatically compounding every three days, more or less. Protect your soul. If you have all your soul just sitting in your wallet, one, you're missing out on inflation, and also, you're probably gonna go and buy random altcoins, which will not outperform soul in the long run. Every now and then, you see someone that goes and puts $100 into WIF and walks away with 
$100,000. That is a rarity. That is one person when you don't see the 100 people that put $100 into a token and they walk away with $2. So stake your soul, it's very important. Next bit of news, all mining is now live. I'm very, very excited for or I haven't learned how to do it yet. Hard Hat Chad was gonna show me and then didn't get a reply. So I need to work it out today to release a video. There are guides out there. And if you wanna work it out yourself, you can just type in or and then go to all mining core and click here. And apparently they help you work it out. They have some guides in their discord. I haven't actually joined them yet, but I did see it. Very, very bullish. There's only gonna be 21 million ore. It's like a Bitcoin on Solana thing. And I'm not trying to say buy this. I'm trying to say, go and actually mine it. And maybe the community grows and grows and grows and it becomes like a kind of meme coin movement and people go and mine it. They spend a little bit of money on infrastructure, maybe nothing crazy, like $10 a month, $20 a month, something minimal. But they learn something. They learn a little bit about coding, just a little bit just to get by. And they go and scrape a few ore. And maybe if they're really bullish, they, they put it on steroids and they get like an ore a month or something kind of crazy. There's one ore available every day. Another thing you can do, which DeFi degenerates did, is go and put in some liquidity, V1 and V2 ore into Meteora. And then look at this. In two days, has created $1,100 in fees. Next bit of news, meme coinery. I can't get meme coins. They're a full-time job. So I'm gonna pretty much give up on it. What I will tell you though, is if you want to jump into these sort of things, it could be worth looking into solar decoders because they've got a bot there just pinging what's going up. And then when they go up, then you can potentially profit by putting money into the Meteora pools and then make a little bit of money that way. But this is very hard for me to guide you. You need to obsess over it. Justin, Solana meme coin popcat is up 48% in the last four hours, recovering 100% from the dip in the last 24 hours. I do like Popcat, and I think I'm gonna add a little bit of this into my portfolio. And then other meme coin news, DJT, someone holding 20% of the DJT supply, this is the one that was apparently linked to Donald Trump. They nuked the entire project in one clip. The token is down 94% in a single day and is tanked 99% from its all time high. So this is one really important thing on why you don't want one wallet to hold so many of the tokens. There's a new Launchpad vibe that's coming out, Lilypad. Essentially, this is from Pathsoul. And what you do is you go and put in some soul into an LST. The actual yield goes to the project. And if you want to, you can go and burn the NFT or whatever it is you mint, and then you get back your soul. It's a novel idea, but it's certainly not hyped. There's also a new game coming out. This is from the creators of Play the Heist. Now, I created a lot of content for Play the Heist. I really liked it, but then the floor prices started going down and down and down, and the game wasn't being shipped fast enough. There were too many bugs in the game, and I don't have anything too bad to say about it. Just if you're going to put money into an NFT or anything, you want to make money. You want more people to come into that project than leave. That's ideally how it works. So that created something else, DeFi Dungeons. I have no news on it yet, but if you join the Heist Discord, they are doing Twitter spaces where they're talking about this, and you may want to do a little bit of research. Finally, yesterday I started with 10K and my goal is to build this up to 100K. This will be a separate video a couple of times a week. So go and watch that video later today when it comes out. And essentially it's up $286. Nothing crazy. We're not going to do anything degenerate here. It's just about building it up, building it up, building it up until hopefully we're at 100K sooner than later. That's the goal with this one. Actionables. Bookmark my calendar so you don't miss stuff. The dupe ASR rewards, I'm sure there's probably a million dollars or more worth of rewards that people have not claimed and they've just lost them. But they wouldn't if they followed me. Take part in Infinex's path to patron. The deadline's August 16th. Deposit some PYUSD into app.drift.trade. Remember, you'll get bonus yield and also maybe you win a mad lad. And if anyone ever does win anything by watching my videos, please put in the comments so I know that the community is growing. Do you say some soul and bonk at these levels? Not financial advice, but I am doing it. If you're good at sports betting, look into bonk bets. And also remember, use your bonk dragon wallet. And it's not even if you're good at sports betting. If you want to try and build out that bonk dragon, it's likely that this will be one of the parts. It's $20 worth of bonk. I did it even if I don't win. Just I want to build my bonk dragon. Airdrop actionables. Sign up to Cube Exchange and complete the quests. Stake your bonk with bonk rewards. You can now stake for an entire 12 months as well. Check out Jesse's airdrop tier list. The link will be below. Look into all mining today if you want to get started. Otherwise, I really hope to have a video out tomorrow. And stake your Camino if you're using Camino Finance. You get more Camino points and then you get more Camino tokens in the end. That's all for today. Catch you in the next video.